This is a quick video on how to query a declaration and respond to a declaration. Okay, here we see the broker logging into the declaration. He will prepare a declaration by doing a quick import and assess that declaration. Okay, so we import the declaration. make minor changes to the declaration and um, assess the declaration. Now that the declaration is assessed, um, the broker will log out. The examiner will log in and he will find the declaration and query the declaration. So after logging in, it will go to the finder, put in the C number for that declaration, and right click on the declaration and click reroute to query. After querying the declaration, the examiner will then have to fill out the inspection act. He will select the type of query, the segment of the declaration indicate the item number that he's querying and the field that he is querying. In this example the examiner is querying the commercial description, the HS code and the country of origin. After the examiner completes the information on the Inspection Act tab, he can then go to the Query Response tab and give some more details of the query. The examiner can submit multiple queries or he could submit all the information in one single query. The queries will be entered in a table in which you can view each record by itself through a pop-up window. The examiner can also edit the query but the examiner won't be able to edit a query that has already been submitted. In this case the examiner will complete the inspection act and validate the changes. The broker will log in to respond to the query that was submitted by the examiner. He receives an email to indicate to him that the declaration was queried. He can go to the attachments and right click on the declaration. He will have the option to retrieve the declaration. After retrieving the declaration, the broker should look at the inspection act by clicking on the view button for the inspection act view inspection act you can see the details of the query on the inspection act tab and also he could go to the query response tab to look at the the detailed information that was written by the the, the examine the customs examiner
After viewing the query by the officer, the custom examiner, the broker will proceed to make the necessary changes as requested. For example, we will change the HS code, the country of origin, and the commercial description. After making the changes on the declaration, as indicated by the examiner, the broker will click on the blue tick to respond to the, the system will indicate to the broker that he has not responded to one or more queries on the inspection act and an option will be given to him so that he could retrieve the inspection act to, to respond and edit information on the, the query response tab. The broker is still not able to make any changes on the inspection act tab as the changes are only done by the customs examiner. There you can see the broker is able to input data only in the response information text box and he will click on the edit button to save the changes. After responding to the query on the inspection act, the broker will then go back to the declaration to save the changes. The broker will log out. We will log in as the customs examiner. And um, the examiner should receive an email to indicate that the broker um, responded to the query. Response information on the Inspection Act will be automatically filled once the Customs Examiner validates the, the, the declaration. In this example, you can see the response value will filled automatically. At this point, any additional information can be captured uh, by the examiner in the information box below. This was a quick video tutorial on how to query and respond to a query on a declaration. Thank you for watching.